Coach Jerry, as someone who worked at AMI for 28 years, what was your reaction to all this? Uh, good morning. Well, I mean, I, I, the, the whole story has uh, snowballed. Um, the, uh, the, the, the Beso divorce ordinarily wouldn't have been registered on the Inquirer uh, Richter scale other than he is the arch enemy of President Trump. So um, after, uh, after the, uh, the Mueller investigation and after AMI became involved in the investigation, there was somewhat of a falling out. Uh, I think American media and David Pecker tried to make amends and brought this, uh, this divorce story um, to the president uh, as, a, as a means of kissing and making up. So, so you totally buy the whole political motivation. And ju just for our viewers to catch everyone up to speed, AMI is admitted to playing a role, right, in President Trump's 2016 campaign, paying the former Playboy model to kill her story. And then they struck a deal with AMI in which the company was granted immunity in exchange for cooperating with the department's investigation. You see this all as linked. Is that correct? Yes. American media did everything in its power to get President Trump elected. Um, Wow. Was it your experience during your years there that that essentially journalism would be used for purposes of, to lack of a better term, extortion? Uh, not so, not necessarily extortion, but when uh, David Pecker uh, came on as CEO, he brought with him a uh, silent editor, and that editor was uh, Donald Trump. So the agreement was uh, that there would be no negative uh, press on Trump or his organization. So you think in this case it's specifically linked to the president's enmity for the Washington Post and its owner, Mr. Bezos? Certainly. How involved was David Pecker in the stories that, that you guys chose to publish or ignore? Uh, he, he had the final say. Uh, if a story on Donald Trump came in and it wasn't flattering, it was immediately killed. I mean, how prevalent was this whole idea of, you know, the, the whole it, it's sort of the detail, it was like a catch and kill kind of investigation for the National Enquirer. How prevalent was that kind of tactic? Uh, it happened, uh, it happened uh, probably uh, a half dozen times. Unflattering stories were purchased by American media um, and then never run. They were, uh, they were purchased for the purpose of taking them off the market. Hey, Jerry, uh, our Eamon Javers, uh, one of our correspondents in Washington, just caught up with the deputy White House spokesman, uh, Hogan Gidley, about this very topic. Here's what he said. Uh, I'm not sure if he's aware of it, and we're not going to get into a conversation about something between Jeff Bezos and a tabloid magazine. So how much faith do you have in the board, the AMI board, uh, uh, to, as they put it, promptly and thoroughly investigate the claims, essentially about themselves? I think they were, uh, you know, sighing uh, a, a, a great sigh of relief after uh, uh, getting through the initial um, uh, federal investigation. Now the whole thing is back again, uh, and uh, they're right in the thick of it. I think they're freaking out. Jerry, hey, I think our Robert Frank is still there. Yeah, Robert? Thanks, thanks, sir. I have a question about the financials, and I don't know, Jerry, if you know much about what the financials of AMI are, who owns it, who are the current shareholders. But there was the implication in the Bezos post that the Saudis had some relationship with AMI or that AMI was trying to get them to be an investor. And also we have a board here which is made up of Chatham Asset Management, which owns, I think, at one point, 80 percent of the company. Are they doing well financially? Do they lose money? And what do you think their investors are thinking or doing right now? Uh, traditionally, the, the company has lived uh, from hand to mouth. It's never had much, uh, much of a cash flow. David Pecker isn't a journalist. He, he doesn't have ink in his veins. He's about acquisitions and, uh, you know, buying the next, uh, the, the next big deal. So um, last spring, uh, he put out an, uh, a, a special uh, issue on Saudi, uh, Saudi Arabia. Uh, entitling it the, the New Magic Kingdom. Shortly after that, say three months later, uh, suddenly there was a windfall of money and uh, American media was able to
buy up its, its main competitor, Bauer Magazines. Uh, the, the, the timing is incredible. It, uh, it seems suspicious to many people. So, Jared, we, we still don't know how the paper obtained the uh, private pictures of Bezos. In your experience, did they ever do this illegally, this sort of thing? If they illegally obtain pictures or documents in these investigations? You know, in, in my experience, not. But uh, there are a variety of sources who have access to material who are more than willing to turn them over. So usually that's the way um, salacious pictures are acquired. Mr. George, just to, just to given you're obviously a vocal critic of, of the company at this point or some of its tactics, you were there for a very long time. Can we ask the nature of your departure? Did you have a dispute with Mr. Pecker or can you give us any sense in terms of, uh, of why your employment there ended? Uh, y yes, um, the, the financial hardships of the company were, were taking its toll and there were a series of, um, of furloughs and cutbacks and uh, I was among the last to go.